In this video, I'm gonna give you a basic introduction to layout in Flutterflow. So let's say you've got a mock-up of an app and I've got one right here, it's like a travel app, right? And so I'm gonna come into Flutterflow and just lay out the basic architecture of it. So this is probably a section up here, you know, that includes this text right here and this card and this um, icon and then down here, right? So I come into Flutterflow and if you come into your widgets here and we go down to our layout elements, we've got all these layout things and we think, okay, well, maybe we want this to be just like one section right here. So what do we have? Okay, maybe a container, like that sounds right. So I just drag and drop that in, that looks good. Let's, uh, you know, increase the width. I can do this infinity right here, all the way across. And of course, once I dump stuff in here, it's gonna fill out the height, you know? So, okay, that looks good. And then down here, I'm gonna have like another section. So why don't I just like dump another container in here? So I dump another container in here and I get this sort of warning thing right here. And this says, you're about to replace the widget inside of your home page. That's our home page. That's just our main sort of body. Scaffold, that's just what Flutter calls it behind the scenes, which already contains a container. So what this is assuming is that in our home page, we can only have one widget. Now, other widgets can contain many other widgets inside them, but the home page itself can only contain one. So we get this nice sort of helper pop up here, and it says, you know, if you don't wanna replace it, you can add any of these widgets right here. So we can add a column or a row or a stack, or we can replace it. So we were trying to add in another container. So if we just said, hey, let's add a column, then we get this nice thing. We've got a container here. That was our original container. Let's look at our um, widget tree. So we, it, we, we tried to have two containers, right? But we couldn't because our homepage can only have one. If we collapse this, we can like see this. You know, we've only got one widget, one child here. But inside here, we've got our two containers. So now we can, you know, do what we wanted to do. So that's helpful. Okay, so that's the first thing about layout, that your homepage can only have one child. Now that's almost true. The only other exception is the app bar. So if we go into our widgets and we look for app bar, we can see that we can drag this in and that's no problem because our app bar is kind of this like universal thing that kind of stands outside, not really, but kind of outside of our main sort of like layout flow here. But that's the only other thing. So that's the first thing about layout. Now, we've got all of these other layout elements right here. So let's go in and get a basic overview of each one of these layout elements, see what they kind of do and when we would use them. So these are the eight main layout widgets in Flutterflow. So the first one is our container. And the container is kind of unique because the special thing that it can do is it can provide styling. Let me show you. So here, let's delete everything we've had up till now. So we're just back to our bare home page. And let's dump a container in. And um, if we scroll down on the side here, we see all of our options. And we can see, you know, we can do things like add padding, we can push it off from the side of our app. But then when we get down here, we can see all of our styling options. So we can add a shadow to our container. So, you know what, let's just push this, let's make this um, full width and full height, but let's push it off from the side, you know, like 25, let's do 25, there we go. And let's get a little color in here. We'll just grab one from our palette. Let's just get a normal shadow color of black and maybe a blur of 20. And we can see we've got that blur right there. We can add in a border radius to round off our corners right there. So if we unclick it, we can see we got some rounded corners and we get all of these great options for styling, gradients, background images, right? So that's the unique thing about containers. You get styling. Here in this travel app, we've got a container right here. And so you can see this one implementation of it. So we're using the styling options of we've got a background image, we've got some border radius, some rounded corners. And so this is the kind of thing that you can build with a container. 
Now, the one thing to keep in mind about a container is that a container can only have one child, one child widget. So you're always going to be using a container with another widget. So typically you'll have a container and then inside your container, you're going to have another widget that can accept multiple children, right? Because if you think of just think about apps that you use all the time, you're just like scrolling on the screen and you've got a bunch of things on the screen, a bunch of elements. So a next obvious option would be your row or your column. And these are just kind of what they sound like, right? You're just stacking stuff horizontally or vertically. And of course, you can scroll vertically, but you can also scroll horizontally. So let me show you some of these. Here in our travel app, you can see that this whole thing is a column. That's our main child widget of our homepage right here. And this is a pretty common scenario, right? Because in most apps, you're just going to be kind of scrolling down and you're going to have a bunch of different elements. So here we've got our column and then the children are a row, a container, some text, another container. The one thing to keep in mind about rows and columns is that they're designed for just having a few children. So that would be like 10 or 20, around there. And if you need more children, then you're going to want to go to a grid view or a list view. That's what these are designed for. They're designed to be a collection of a bunch of children, right? 50, 100, 1,000, many, many things. Here's a great example of a list view. So here we've got an order history page, and you can imagine like in you know your Amazon app, you've just got tons and tons of orders, and we've got a list view. View. Here we've got one list view here and one list view here. And of course, you can imagine you can sort of scroll on forever. Next up, we've got stack. And a stack widget is where you want to stack children on top of one another. Now, you're not going to typically use this for like a main layout widget, but it does have very important special use cases. Let me show you. So here we've got a profile and you can see over here, we've got a column and then inside of column, we've got this stack view right here, which is just this sort of like hero portfolio image. And so inside the stack, we've got the image itself, that background image. We've got this row of these buttons, you know, the share and the back button. And then we've got this blur, this uh, sort of card blur thing right here. And this is a great use of stack view because these are all stacked on top of one another, right? We've got the image in back and then on top, we've got navigation and the information. Next, we've got page view. And page view is where you have a full page view of an image or a background, a text or something, and it's swipeable. And you can swipe vertical or you can swipe horizontal. Typically, you'll use these for like onboarding or teaching your user how to do something. So let me show you a good example of this. So here in our Fin Wallet template, we've got a great onboarding example of a page view. So if we come over here, we can see our page view. And under our page view, we've got each different page that we're going to see. And if we preview this, we can see that this is a horizontal scroll. So when I scroll over, you can see the different screens that's going to bring me through the onboarding for this app. And lastly, we have our wrap widget. And a wrap widget is designed for when you have things like buttons that don't have equal width and you want them to wrap onto the next line. So this is different from a grid view or list view when the children are gonna be fixed width. But for wraps, they can be different widths. And typically these will be for things like you know, let's say you've got like buttons of different types of food, right? And so the text is going to be a different width. And so you want those different ones to wrap onto the next line. All right, that's the eight main layout widgets. So, but they're all not created equal because you're going to use some of these more than others. That is to say, these main five over here on the left are container, row, column, list view, grid view, are going to be your main architectural layout widgets. That is, the, the sort of main backbone of the structure of your app, you're going to be using these ones time and time again. These other three over here are page view, wrap, and stack are helpful, but they're sort of like more specialized use cases and not sort of used for that sort of like main spine of your app.
So here's some helpful questions to ask when you're looking at your mock-up and you're saying, okay, which of these should I use? The first question is, do you need styling? Now, if you do need styling, then of course you're gonna use your container because that's sort of like the special feature of container provides styling. If you don't, the next question you wanna ask is, do you need a lot of children? Because if you do, then you're gonna go for your list view or your grid view. If you don't, then you move to your column and row. Okay, so that's a general introduction of layout in Flutterflow. In the next videos, we're gonna go in depth on each one of these layout widgets, see how to use them and see their best use cases.